be something different guys. We're going to ride out today. We've got to go and get a engine for this. Ice cream wagon. Unfortunately, it's died. It's breathing very heavy and the lad's been running it and unfortunately it's stopped. It's just gave up. Lost its will to live. So today's job is going out, getting an engine. So the next few days will be quite interesting, swapping everything over. its compression it was it's been missing firing for a couple of months losing power we decided it's time to put a new engine in we've been found one in 90,000 on it uh, what else we got this one come up a couple of weeks ago a couple of little jobs to do on that nothing major their maintenance work. We've got trigger air transit. Trigger after tick of a tiger. Uh, intermittent oil pressure on it. We've had Fit a new oil pump to the engine, drain the oil, the light will go out when you pick the revs up, but they're not gentle, you do have to rev it to get the light to go out, so the next port of call is pull the engine forwards off its mount, drop the sump, clean the strainer out, put the strainer back in, clean the sump, Try that, or well, the next stop job is going to be. Mm -hmm. Or I'll take both engines and make one out of two. I don't know if it's open. No, it's locked up. Can't even see the mileage. But yeah, quite interesting. Dropped. Bonnet state. Next couple of weeks. That's a good van. He he's independent to the rest of them and he does look after his own. That one's not too bad. But that one, which is my mate David's, that is a good van that does get looked after. As you can see, it's got a lovely paint job on it. And David just every now and then chuck a bucket of water over us and it'll wash it and polish it. But yeah, uh, just let me show you something. Get under here. Ah, why not I see this? I was fucking shocked. I said, oh dear. That's the state of its chassis legs. And this didn't come cheap. They got ripped off, good and proper. <laughs> I told him what I told him. That is meant to be straight. That is bowed. And he said, "Will I pull it straight?" And I said, "No." I mean, uh, personally, it's fucked, and you can see it. 
I mean, uh, we've all had friendly MOTs, even me. I mean, actually, not bad. Put an earth cable through there. Yeah, you're right, we've got a problem with the lights. We've got to be here if you tell. This is the state of it underneath. Yeah. <laughs> we've only just brought this, this is another van we've brought. And we've got an exhaust on this to do. Uh what else? A couple of bits. But this one, yeah, we had this running. This had new sump on it. Quite a few bits and bobs done to it. Mounts, engine mounts, gearbox mounts. But yeah, unfortunately for this one, it's had to have another engine. Off a good mate of mine, Nick Stanyard. I've never known an engine to kill an DI, but these can kill them. Two years ago, I had an engine in this. It was a red hot summer and I fitted it with my old mate. John, who sadly is no longer with us, he's gone. Uh, it hasn't done big miles. The problem with him is they spend a lot of time ticking over so we don't get called back down. We've swapped pumps, we've swapped injectors. It's now back on its original pump. I mean, my mate Staz, he lent me two pumps. Bless him. Even they wouldn't do it. And we've done a compression test and it's down on two cylinders. What year is this? This is a v reg I think. Yeah, 2000. And yeah. It's one of them. A couple of little job stocks I do on this. Davies we've got a couple of bits still on that, but that's nothing major. He's all right, he can manage. Um, this one, headlights. It's about next two, two and a half weeks. That'll be it for me, I'll be done here. Love you all, bye for now.